right. Well, thank you everybody for coming today. Um, in case you don't know, my name is Peter Buck and I'm the Democratic candidate for the 171st Legislative District. And I really appreciate you coming out today. Uh, I wanna make it very clear that if uh, people need to get by, we need to make space for them. I had not really intended this so much to be a rally as much as a press event. I do appreciate uh, obviously the fervor and the enthusiasm and the support. It's really wonderful to see. Uh, today is an auspicious day. House Leader Kerry Benninghoff and the GOP's gerrymandered majority are ready to plunge a knife into the heart of Pennsylvania's democracy. He is trying to steal your government and make it work for a corrupted, out of touch, and dangerous party. Just a couple of days ago, Mr. Benninghoff prepared HB 1032 to go to the floor. The bill would fundamentally alter Pennsylvania's electoral process in order, sadly, to steal the election. It would create a select committee led by the GOP Politburo who would oversee the selection of the electors for the Electoral College. And that might sound strange to you because we, the people, and our popular vote are supposed to select the president. We are supposed to select the president. But Kerry and his gang of miscreants don't care about your vote. A 24-year career politician now cares about his party, the cult of personality built around its leader, the dark money and gifts it gets from the Koch brothers. This is not a man working for your freedom, for investments in your kids' education, for broadband to help your business, for your emergency medical services, or investments in a bright and prosperous energy system to take on climate change. He is the leader of a government cult. In 2012, the GOP so extremely gerrymandered Pennsylvania that we are now an outpost of political extremism. In 2018, 55% of voters cast their votes for Democrats. And yet somehow, magically, this map has created a 109 to 93 majority in the House of Representatives in Pennsylvania. That is statistically impossible unless you cheat. They cheated. Kerry cheated. They are cheating again in plain sight. Kerry says he's a conservative. And conservatives believe in limited government. Why is he creating a committee of apparatchiks apparatchiks of, by, and for the government. Conservatives believe that decisions ought to be judged by the consequences of their actions over generations. Have Mr. Benninghoff and his gang thought about what happens if the opposing party gains control of this committee? And they throw out the votes of the Republicans. Conservatives believe in restraint. But when a small group a fake majority drunk on its own power comes to dominate the wills of its fellow citizens, subvert their will, and resort to extreme measures, including hiding what they're going to do until right before they drop it on the floor, that is called despotism. Mr. Benninghoff is no conservative. They are trying to steal this election in plain sight. And some might wonder, well, why didn't the vote happen? Hmm. They couldn't have a floor vote because people in their own caucus had COVID-19. They can't vote on a corrupt, unconstitutional bill because of a crisis that their party continues to seek to downplay. And the irony is just too much to handle. You would think that Mr. Mr. Benninghoff would be eager to defend his actions. But this coming week, He's not going to appear at the League of Women's Candidate Night. He's not going to be there to answer for what he's doing and what he's done. He is hiding. He is a coward. But he's been hiding for years. The dark money, the refusal to undo gerrymandering. This is a man who does not want to be held accountable. Let me reiterate something. 
This bill would fundamentally alter Pennsylvania's electoral process. It would create a select committee led by the GOP to oversee the selection of your electors. So folks here today, those who are hearing us live now or watch later on video, it is time to defend America by defending Pennsylvania's elections. I'm asking every person here, every person here to poll the bill, that Mr. Benninghoff poll the bill and let our election system work. We have incredible citizens working to make sure that we have an accessible, secure, and transparent election. And you can learn more about how Center County is doing that tonight by attending Laura Shadle's event online. And on November 3rd, or before, if you use a mail-in ballot, please vote. This is about your voice and the work of the people, not politicians. Thank you very much. Woo!